It's a of
Gott, Elohim.
I'll smite your first on dead. Let my people go. Go down, Moses. Way down in Egypt's land. Tell Toil, let my people go. Let come out with e Egypt's spoil. Let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land. Tell
prophets when we're up on the mountain and the talk comes so easy when life is at its best down in the valley of trials and the temptations for that's when faith Test. Oh, we talk of faith when we are up on the mountain and the talk comes so easy when life is at its best. But down in the valley of trials and temptations. For that's when faith is really put to the test And the God on the mountain is still God in the valley When things go wrong, he'll make them right And the God of the good Yeah. 
Jumo Lalaru Asale And the God on the mountain Is still a God in the valley When things go wrong He'll make them right I'm the God of the good times He's still a God in the bad times Oh, the God of the day He's still God in the night I'm the God of the day He's still God in the night I'm the God of the day Everybody sing it in the last verse. Let's go. Oh, 
more time, one more time. Oh, look at me. With a heart of joy, let everybody rule seven thunders. Hallelujah! Let's go! Hallelujah! 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 Lord and Hallelujah! Somebody wave your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus! Raise up your voice and say, Thank you, Jesus! If God has given you strength, say thank you, Jesus. Somebody sing it out. Sing it again for the last time loud and clear. Oh, Raise up your voice, I shall. Lord, we thank you this morning. If you have hundred tongues, it's enough, it's not enough to give thanks to you. Testimony to share with the children of God this morning. Our ministers are waiting for you at Bible. The Bible says the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 20. Though and join in and the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Somebody is here this morning by the reason of the God of Elijah. Every evil hands from the covenant gathered against you and your family. That said, you will not see the end of this year. If your amen can be louder, they will not go unpunished. You are not saying a very rugged amen. Your amen is not louder enough. Somebody raise up your two hands up and declare loud and clear. Say, every evil hand join together in the coven to hinder the move of God in this morning's service. God is expecting somebody to shout that prayer unto you. Say every evil hand join together in the cover to hinder the move of God in this morning's service somebody shall hear the word of the Lord you shall not go unpunished without by fire in the name of Jesus 
somebody cry that prayer every evil hand join together in the cover to hinder the move of God in this morning service hear the word of the Lord you shall not go unpunished with her by far, wither, by thunder, wither, by liquid fire of Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. It's better for you to shout this one for yourself. Louder than anybody by your side. Say, evil hands, join together. To monitor me to this service. Can you say it loud and clear? Against my testimony. Hear the word of the Lord. You shall not go upon it. Without by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' most wonderful name we are prayed. Amen. If you have testimonies, our pastors are waiting at the banner of love. Hallelujah. Come on, lift those hands and begin to worship him. Lift those hands and begin to worship him. The one who is, who was, and is to come. The God who has kept you. Right from January up to the month of November. Just give him praise. I don't know why we worship it. Just worship it, Jesus.
If you are screaming for my Jesus, that is not loud enough. I want you to scream for Jesus. If you have testimonies and pastors are waiting for you, I'll go out of the Lord. Come on, wave those hands to the King of Glory. Wave him. I want you to sing in new tongues. Yes. You are good, you are kind, you are more than this. Lost for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Hallelujah. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. Good morning, church. By the special grace of God, our daddy in the Lord decided that he's going to change some things and introduce a time that we are going to be looking into parenting. Therefore, he set up a committee that is tagged Strategic Godly Parenting. This committee are supposed to look into some teachings that will help us to be able to parent our homes and nurture our children in the way of the Lord. Therefore, he said, we are going to be using the sometimes in the study scripture sessions. Therefore, this morning, by the grace of God, we have in our midst a guest 
speaker and also a professional in the digital medical field who will be ministering to us this morning on the topic understanding social media for 21st century godly parenting as we listen to him I pray that God will bless us all and uphold our homes in Jesus' name. Thank you, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let's quickly say a short prayer. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, as we go into this word, as we share this morning, we pray everlasting Father that you will minister to us, and that every soul here will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And we pray, Lord, that everybody connected to this service this morning will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. As many questions that we have in our hearts concerning social media and parenting, we pray Lord, that you will answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's a great privilege this morning to stand in front of God's people to share this morning. And um, I really want to thank the Godly Parenting Strategic Committee and also our General Overseer for this privilege. And I bless God for that this morning. And like Mommy has said earlier, she said I'll be speaking this morning to us on what I titled Understanding Social Media for 21st Century Godly Parenting. Our text will be taken from Proverbs 22, verse 6, which says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Also, I would like to encourage us from 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. And it says, You should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times. For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scuffling at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride, and love pleasure rather than God. They would act religious, but they would reject power that could make them godly. And stay, he says, stay away from people so like that. This is Brother Paul's second letter to Timothy he warning him about the end times and the things that are about to happen. And my prayer for you this morning is that you and your children will not be like the people that brought Paul has described in this verse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you this morning that the grace to repent if you have been found one thing of these things you receive now in Jesus' mighty name. And also, you know, there's a warning at the later part of that scripture, which brought Paul to Timothy. He said, stay away from people like that. So I want to encourage you this morning that the grace to stay away from people like that receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's quickly look at a few facts about social media. The first thing to note is that social media has come to stay. And there's no point shying away from it. Aside from coming to stay like every other technological innovation, it has become an integral part of our everyday life. It is something that everybody uses. It is something that we relate to our family, our friends, our children on. And so, 
we cannot reject social media because if we decide to reject social media it will be like we are saying we don't want to be part of this time and um, i would encourage us to use social media but we should be careful in our use of social media another thing i would like to share with us this morning is about the different social media channels and what they share the first one is Facebook. We we'll sit down on Facebook. We connect to our friends. We connect to our family. And Facebook is usually known to be a place where you can build relationships and communities. For instance, some people are connected to this service even by using Facebook or YouTube. Also, there's another channel called Instagram. In the, on that platform, people share pictures and videos. And, and also on that platform, you find out that there's a lot of photography, a lot of fashion on it. Also, we have Twitter. Twitter. On that platform, there's a lot of text, there's a lot of news, there's a lot of activism on it. And I'm sure that all of us witnessed answers that happened recently, and it was something that happened through social media. And it was through Twitter that it was very, very instrumental in Nigeria. And also, we also, there's also another platform called Snapchat. I know a lot of our daddies and mommies here may not be on Snapchat, but young people use that Snapchat a lot. It's a platform where videos and pictures are shared. And, and people show off different lifestyle and the different locations where they are. And so, for instance, when you see your child taking pictures in different locations, he's most likely sharing it on Snapchat. Also, another platform is WhatsApp. I'm sure a lot of us here are on WhatsApp. We see that that platform is a platform where we build relationships and communities. For instance, I'm sure in the church we have the different departments and their, and their whatsapp groups and it's, 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 it has helped us a lot also we have linkedin 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 is a platform where a lot of professionals and business communities share different things that are happening in their environment or in their workplace LinkedIn, you are found to their caution once you don't share your pee and don't share it then you said on share and then people share pictures text and even jobs on that platform i mean what you are wrong i'm going to consider i can we share but these social media channels are not really my focus this morning but then i would like to talk about us closing up the emotional and development of a child because we can't talk about godly parenting if we don't pay attention to the emotional and social development of our children we must, we must understand that our children are young they are malleable and they are impressionable and also we should understand that the environment and the things they are exposed to influences them a lot and so in this age you will discover that social media is influencing a lot of our children and finally we read, we'll see that social media is a place that is too complicated for us to live our children alone on those spaces. And that would take me to my next point, which is to talk about the appropriate age for a child to be introduced to social media. 
ojo ori wo kan le wa to lati pe oya wo mo mi be si ni lo awon ona ibadiso lori e yo a le ru jara so many studies and researches have shown that the best time to introduce a child to social media is from the age of 13 opolopo iwadi ati e kan lo ti fi won pe ojo ori ti o dara ju lati e ka mo wa be si lo awon ona ibadiso lori e ru jore oni omodun meta la and that our children should not be allowed to sign up on social media until they are 18. I've seen that a lot of children these days that are below 18 have social media accounts. So um, it is important that we pay attention to the ages we allow our children to sign up on social media. Don't know what's a particular fee, see, or do it on more best in each year. One a row in Latin, my law, get a bianic or con. Aside that, you have to say, if social media is done rightly, to make a lot of it, they are low, no banners or loaded, you are little jarry. There are so many positive things that we can learn from it. Or one got all that, Lally, recall the bear. First one is that social media is a tool for learning. Also, secondly, it provides an easy way for us to connect. Especially when we are not in the same place with our children. Lastly, we can use this as a tool for uh, evangelism and spreading the gospel. Now, I will move to the negative side effects of social media. The first one is distraction. We we'll see that a lot of our children these days, they are distracted. And that is because of social media. Another one is unrealistic expectation and peer pressure. There's a major issue on social media now. A lot of things that are being shared on social media is causing children, young people to be pressured. Because they don't know the backstory of those things that are being posted. And so they are being misled by certain people. Another thing that social media causes is cyberbullying. There's a lot of people on social media that hide behind their keypad and start to troll and cyberbully people on social media. And that is causing a lot of problems for children and young people on social media. These have cost some young children to even commit suicide. And I pray for us this morning that our children will not experience cyberbullying in Jesus' mighty name. Another one is widespread of fake news and rumors. There has been a lot of fake news that will be going around on social media. Also, people share things that are not true. Another thing is addiction. You see that people will be in church and they will be checking their phones, they will be looking at social media. And you know, know bro, Paul has said it in that second letter to Timothy. He said, people will not consider things sacred. So, um, 
I would love to give us some few guidelines that can help parents to guide their children. So, number four, we be need to know. Do you run with your law? Do you want to come on one? Need to hear all the data. The first one is time limit. I can't call anybody. Oh, God of fear, I can't see time limit for our children to use social media. And the best advice I'll give is for any child below 18, use of social media should not be more than one hour in a day. For more of it, we are doing it in a group. With, with serious supervision. Secondly, content to avoid. Things like pornography, things that are not according to God's value and will. We should advise our children to stay away from it on social media. Thirdly, we must teach our children how to verify information. We must make ourselves approachable that our children can ask us questions when they see things on social media. Lastly, we must teach our children the people to follow and relate with online. There's a lot of people that are being led astray on social media. So we as parents must be, 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 be vocal to our children and make sure that we tell them that whenever you see someone sharing ungodly things, please do not follow them or consider them a friend on social media. So I came up with another guideline for parents to help their children overcome negative side effects. The first one is get educated and expand your knowledge on social media. Because if you are going to help a child that is experiencing the negative side of social media, you must know about it. Secondly, we must close the generational gap. We must know that every child has his own way of communication. We must understand our children. And be able to relate with them in a way that they will understand and they will, and they will accept and receive what we have told them. Thirdly, we must create a guideline for them. Lastly, we must be their accountability partner. This is the very, very important point. Because for people that are experiencing the negative side of social media, it is important that their parents or their guardian become their accountability partner. This is how we can help them overcome the negative side effects of social media. Another thing that I would like to highlight again is how to monitor your child on social media. I know a lot of parents have these questions and they're always wondering, these children, what are they doing on social media? How do I keep up with it? The first thing I will advise is encourage open communication. Make yourself approachable. 
Secondly, you can connect your account with your children's account. So that you can be able to help them through. Thirdly, be friends with your children on social media. And encourage them not to find ways to evade you. Because because they, find, they are always afraid of what their parents will say. So they try to create two accounts on social media. So it is important for us to be their friend and, and explain to them that they should not evade us on social media. Fourthly, Restrict their use of social media to a computer. Because this is essentially for children that are below 18. I see a lot of people that are below 18. Our parents will give them smartphones. And that is not very good. So, if your children will need to have access to the internet, it is better to make it on a computer. Because this will assist you to be able to control the things that they see. And the, and the amount of time that they spend on social media. Fifth point. Be friends with your children's friend on social media. Because there's a common saying that says, show me your friends. And I will tell you who you are. So even if your, friend, if your child is trying to evade you, by the time you see the things that their friends are doing, you can be able to tell. And as well, you will be able to advise them from a good place. Another thing you can do is there are certain monitoring apps that you can use. So you can download some of those apps and begin to monitor the activity of your children. Lastly, log into their social media accounts or ask them for access randomly. This is a very, very important point. I'm sure if I ask a lot of parents here that when last did you just ask your child and say, let me see your WhatsApp, let me see your Facebook, let me see your Twitter. You know, it is very, very important to do those things randomly. I know a lot of parents feel that, ah, my child needs privacy. But your child's privacy is your privacy. Because the implication of it will definitely come to you. So our advice, please ask your children, check their social media activities randomly. This is not um, to find fault, but also to be able to help them. And I pray that the Lord will help us to raise godly seed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And that task that God has given us, the strength, 
the knowledge, the wisdom to be able to do it well. We will receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In conclusion, the first point I'll say is parents and children have a role to play. We can see in that Proverbs 22 that we read. The parents you should train their children. You should train your children. You should train your children. And also the children, they have a role to play. You should listen to your parents. You should listen to your parents. Because, you know, um, to become a godly child, it's a result of obedience. Secondly, building an effective and concrete relationship between parents and children is the best way to overcome all the negative effects of social media. Parents must create time for their children. These days, social media is fast replacing the influence of parents in the life of children. So I want to encourage us daddies and mommies in the house. Please create time for your children. Please create time for your children. Have conversations with your children. There are so many children that these days, when you hear what they say and you see their parents, it's like word and opposite. And so, one of the things that has led to that is a broken relationship between the parents and the children. So I encourage us this morning if you check within your heart and you see that your relationship with your child is not concrete please make amends. Lastly encouraging good family time and we must be intentional about it where the use of phone is prohibited. You will find out in families these days. You see parents and children, they cannot stay for more than 10 minutes and there can be conversation. Because before you know it, the child is on phone, the father is on phone, the mother is on phone. And so it is important that we as parents ourselves, we must lead by example. We must reduce our phone use. Because our children are looking at us. And we must set good examples for them. And so we must create those family times where we say, everybody just drop your phone. Let's sit down talk to each other. And also, I want to challenge your parents this morning. When you get home today, sit down with your children. Drop your phone aside. Ask them questions. That What are the questions that they have? What are the things you have seen on social media that is conflicting with the things I've told you? And begin to answer their questions. And I believe that by the time we do these things that I've highlighted, the Lord will help each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so to quickly conclude, please let's just be on our feet and pray. 
pray this morning. Let's just pray for ourselves. Let's pray for our children. Let's pray for all the children in the world this morning. Let's begin to pray and say, Father, we pray concerning our children this morning that the influence that the social media is having on them will be godly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and that our labor over these children will not be in vain let's begin to use that to pray let's pray this morning let's say father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord I ask everlasting father that Lord for my children that the influence of social media on them will be positive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let's begin to turn that to prayer Let's pray. Father, we ask King of Kings, Lord of Lords, that the influence of social media on our children will be positive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to commit every child out there, every young person out there that is being misled on social media, that the Lord, your revelation will come to them. Your word will meet with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That their parents will begin to get solutions to turn over what the enemy is trying to use social media to do in the life of their children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have seen a lot of cases on social media that the devil has used social media to ruin children's life. Let's begin to pray for our children. Let's say, Father, this godly seeds you have given me, that this social media will not derail them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere that the enemy is trying to use social media as a tool to derail my children, I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the enemy has failed in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. And let's begin to decree and declare also that on the social media space, the word of God will prevail. The word of God will prevail. The word of God will prevail. The word of God will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare everywhere that the enemy is planting, planting things on social media, we decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the word of God will begin to prevail, that the truth will prevail, that the gospel will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. Real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you. Real good. Amen. Amen. You're warmly welcome to this morning's service. Let's close our eyes as we shout this prayer at the top of our voice. God of the eleventh hour. Shout it louder than your neighbor. God of the 11th hour. I am available. Receive me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray pray this one too with faith and fire in your voice 11th hour miracle shout it louder than your neighbor I am available locate me by fire in the name of Jesus
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please let's pick up our hymn book as we open to him number 41. Him 41. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassion they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Everybody, great is thy faithfulness.
135. The God who led his people through the path of sea and from Egyptian bondage set his children free. Who ran down bread from heaven all the pregnant way is the God to whom I pray. Just the same today. Just the same today. As when he led his people through the sea, his trusty child I'll be. For in his word I see the God who doeth wonders is just the same today. Everybody, just the same today. Just the same today. Just the same. The God who close the lily in his robe of stone.
God. Many of our viewers have been blessed and are delighted to share their testimony with you once again. We know you'll be blessed as you listen. The first testimony goes like this. I want to thank God for the Great Physician Hour program. I have received diverse healings from shoulder pain to high BP, knee pain, leg pain and so on. Secondly, I praise the Lord for his mercies upon my life. I was having serious knee and leg pains to the extent that when I woke up in the morning, it was difficult for me to walk to the toilet. I walked with excruciating pain and it continued for over six months. During last week's Great Physician Hour, when Dr. Olukoya told us to smite where we have pains in our bodies, I did so with my knees and legs vigorously and slept. By the time I woke up in the morning to use the toilet, I felt very light and found out all the pains on my bones were gone. Also, I had smitten my leg breast where I was having seeds and pains. The seeds dried up and the pains disappeared to the glory of God. Indeed, God is a miracle worker and may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. I thank Jesus because through this wonderful program, I enjoy wholeness of health now and I look forward to it every Saturday. God bless Dr. Olukoya and his family for availing themselves for this great work of God that has set millions free from the grip of the wicked one. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Praise the Lord. The next testimony goes like this. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life. I was in a great need to gain admission into the university because it seems like a barrier in my family. No university graduate in my father's house and it was affecting my siblings. But with the help of the God of Dr. Nkoya, I broke through and by God's grace, I am a graduate. The first university graduate in my father's family and my family. Secondly, I told God that after school, I would like to get married. I sowed a seed and God did it. Also, he gave me the right man. I am not only a married woman, I am also a shop owner, all through the help of God. God helped me to achieve what no one could achieve in my family. And I want to thank God because I know before the end of this year, I will carry my own male twins. So shall it be in Jesus name. Amen. Those that trust in God truly can never be put to shame. The next testimony goes like this. I bless the name of the Lord for his mercy. I was unable to attend the man of water service, so I watched online. I had a dream that I lost my hair. So that very night, after the man of water service prayers, I slept and dreamt I heard a voice that said by 15th and end of this month that I should share my testimony that I have been delivered. Behold, on the 15th of this month, I dreamt that my hair was plaited back in the dream and none was cut off. I return all the glory to God Almighty for restoring back my glory. I pray my testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. The last testimony goes like this. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to the glory of God. Around October 2021, I noticed two lumps in my left breast, which caused lots of discomfort, and I smote it any time Dr. Olukoya says we should smite wherever we had issues, and I did it very well. Though I felt relieved, the lumps were still there, so I used the prayer of Jehu, written by Dr. Olukoya, and prayed the prayers in chapter 4. Lo and behold, I had a dream, and saw that they were pumping milk out from my breast, and about three to four days later, the lumps had disappeared forever. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. If you would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly send them to the WhatsApp number 234-704-291-3538 or our email address testimony at mountainoffire.org. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Please, if you have testimony to share with us this morning, and we have already interviewed you, kindly step out quickly. On behalf of Father Lord, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya, the Jehovah's Seer of Mountain of Fire, Miracle Ministries Worldwide, and I warmly welcome you to this Sunday service in Jesus' name. 
As this year is running to an end. Do you do anything so really so me? If you can shout a very loud amen. You have started well. You will not end in a bad way in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us close our eyes. Let us rise up on our feet. And let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you. We bless your name for your mercy, for your grace, for your love, and for your power. Thank you for your strange acts that you have been experiencing on this mountain. Father, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, as this year is running to an end, no one under my voice shall be a victim of misdirected arrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Every testimony we are taking this morning, Lord, we soak them in your blood. And we pray we shall remain established forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Three loud amen. My name is Mrs. Allah Shekbe Mercy from Abuja. I, I thank God for answering my prayers. I noticed a, a traces of um, late marriage in my family, especially in my husband's family. And I started praying against that as early as possible. And I thank God that God answered my prayers. My two female children, they got wedded at the right time. And the Lord blessed them with children. And everything that God has been doing for me in this great mountain, I give glory to God Almighty. And I say, may his name continue to be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a very loud amen. Every evil pattern in your family shall end this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, people of God. I'm Sister Nike. Um, a few weeks ago, I had excruciating pain on my leg. It was so horrible that I could not drive at all for a week. But to the glory of God, I just called one of my brothers. I said, drive me to the church during the last series of a special manna water program. And we came to church. The, I called upon the Lord, Lord. I told God, I said, God, I'm your vessel. You have need for my life. Please, God of daughter, Daniel Nicola, will look at you, heal me. And I thank God to the glory of God. Do, between Wednesday and Friday, I was whole. I'm able to drive and I give God all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Titilayo Aino. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord and shame unto the devil. Through the 70 days fasting and prayer, God did marvelous things in my family. My dad was very sick, so I had to take him to my place. Even my sister was telling me that, ah, Let's take him to the hospital. I said, no, I will take him to my place. That God of color, Wale Olukoya, will heal him. And to the glory of God and shame unto the devil, God healed my dad from partial stroke. And secondly, my sister... Um, I have a question. How did God heal your daddy? I used mana water and fire water for him. I used to use it every morning and night for him. So after then, God healed my, uh, my uh, sister's son that was kidnapped. God brought him back safely without any scratch on his body. 
I bless the God of this mountain and the family that was separated for many years. God brought us back and now we are united in the glory of the living God. Praise Master Jesus! Hallelujah! See your good tie, your tie. But when I must say, I've been boss of the loony, not to call one or real canoe at the share, you know. About a moment, what was in the show, but one of the Batabia, where I drew a lad on your jaw, but I want you and Coco Luan, that people want you like Balolas, don't let it be me one. Kiani, one of my Bumon Lolly was so. I want your idea, my Bumon Lolly, what we want to lay, or me no, I didn't know not about no Latin Badrasi, one saw the bogey, what I think before Molaro, at Lale, Sio Gualon, Baba Wara Matida, like the Bumon Lossi Lay was so. What's the name that I built to try to bush here? Everyone like Kaji, only my bro will be at Momoko, Timon, one Jinibe, Timon Gila, one to Balawa, okay, ye, one Badrasa Kotaku, along to Damon Lossile, like the Boni Farapa, I took my loo, it didn't want to have put in me, Yapa, four of Polo Bodu. Olo lori oke yi o se atunto re gbo won ti pada 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 pe Olorun dabira lo se wa dupe lowo yi We thank God for all these wonderful testimonies Ade pe Olorun fu gbo awon eri iya nu yi If you know that you are the next person on line for testimony Ta wa pe yin gan le ri kan bayi Rise up on your feet E fe se yin dide duro ro With faith Pelu igbagbo la Close your eyes E di oju yin And shout three thunders hallelujah E ke lu amesta ta By next Sunday, you'll be here to share your own testimony. Shout this prayer point at the top of your voice. Powers of death appearing in my dream. Shout it louder. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's have a seat, please. I can joke. We have some announcements here. We'll start washing four video plays. You are blessed as we watch them. The need of the times to raise children in the fear and the knowledge of God. Sometimes we believe we are doing all we need to do for our children, our spirits. At other times, their behaviors make us ask ourselves what else is left to do. Our children face peer pressures and press on every side to conform with the world. Many of them try so hard to stand, but when there's no strength to fight back, they break. This November, the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries Teenage Church International Headquarters invites you to be a part of the Parents Teachers Forum. Learn how to stand and fight for your children's sanity in the spiritual, moral, academic, social, and psychological areas of their life. Pay for this event, Saturday 26th of November, 2022, venue, Zion Tabernacle, MFM Teenage Church, International Headquarters, time, 9 a.m. For more inquiries, send email to mfmteens at gmail.com or call the numbers on the screen. Dr. D.K. Ulugoya, the General Overseer, MFM Ministries Worldwide, is the Parents Teachers Forum. Don't assume that you know your child's next decision may depend on the quality of what you know. Save the dates. See you there. Fire Miracles Ministries. Holy, the Lord is here. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. It is going to be a December to remember. Water Trio is slated for 7th of December, 14th of December, and 21st of December. These three Wednesdays of December will transform lives and catapult destinies to the next level. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live with the theme, No More Ever Go, No More Carryovers. Come reset the last days of 2022 with power and glory. The December Mana Water Trio, 7th of December, 14th of December, and 21st of December. No More Ever Go, No More 
carry your words. Come fasten to this meeting with a bottle of oil and a foul and faith. The MFM International Headquarters Main Auditorium, Lagos, Nigeria. 4.30 p.m. It's time to move. Jesus is Lord. This program will be live on all our social media handles. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 30 to 31. The Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Youth Church, United Kingdom, brings you the November Onslaught Prayer Program. Tab. Fire Night on Friday, 25th November, 2022, 7 p.m. Prompt. Ministering Pastor David Popola, the Regional Overseer, MFM Dallas, Texas, USA. The MFM YC UK Prayer Onslaught Fire Night will be available live on our platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Youths in the United Kingdom, get on the revival train. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. Fire and Miracles Ministries Psalmist Table brings you video alert. New videos coming soon to a stream in your hand. Oluwakope Imanyo. Jesus, you are the Son of God. Creatures were formed by you. Holy, holy is the Lamb. Frank Silver. Proclaim your name. God of wonders. God of wonders. Come and do wonders in my life. Victor Praise.
When I think about all you do, I say thank you, Lord. When I think about all you don't know, I say thank you, Lord. Watch out for the video alert from the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry Psalmist Table. Come into social media and every boot for online store you can find. Shout at it anytime you hear the sound. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Amen. Ami. We welcome those worshiping with us for the first time. Kindly rise to your feet for recognition. 
Wherever you are seated, I welcome us on ground to give you welcome in person. Sunday, such a scripture session from the booklet. We start from the first Sunday of December. Fourth. 12th, 2022. The international headquarters. Please get your own copy of the booklet. In readiness for the first Sunday of December. From MFM bookshops and book vendors. December edition of MFM Power Must Change Hands program will also feature the MFM annual anointing service. How to match it? and continuation of the family deliverance. You are to fast throughout Friday, preceding Saturday's program. And break your fast after the program. Come with two bottles of olive oil for the anointing service. For the family deliverance, come with a list of names of members of your family. And family members who can attend the program. Saturday 3rd, December 2022 is the date. Venue is MFM International Headquarters, Lagos. Time is 7 a.m. prompt. Ministry is added in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya Jiravasia of MFM Worldwide. Application forms for the School of Brokenness, Holiness, Wisdom for Church Workers at the International Headquarters are now out. You can obtain your form at the information office, international headquarters, or at the office of the assembly pastor, Blue Roof, Blue Roof House, international headquarters. Duration of the course, two days. Date is 16th Friday to Saturday, 17th December, 2022. Time is 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Venue is Grace Hall, international headquarters. A two-day open-air crusade organized, organized by the MFM Agege and its environment holds on Friday 16th, Saturday 17th, December 2022, Crusade. Crusade. 16th and 17th of December. Venue is Agege Stadium, 1 Oshitalu Street, Agege. Time is 4 p.m. daily. Ministry in Dr. Diki Lukoya, General Vasya, MFM Worldwide. You are invited to come and receive your miracles. MFM God's Men of Valor presents a monthly restoration program. Saturday, 26 November 2022 is the date. Capture your glory is the theme. MFM International Quarters, Grace All is the venue. Time is 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is Dr. D.K. Lukoya University, another anointed man of God. Note, regions within Lagos are expected to be at the international headquarters for the program while regions outside Lagos should connect online via MFM social media platforms. You are all invited. If you have testimony to share with us, kindly drop your written testimonies inside the testimony boxes which are displayed conspicuously in the auditorium. Remember to include your names and telephone numbers. Please note that it is still compulsory that you comply with the safety and health regulations during all our services in the church. We are wearing face mask and sanitizing your God bless you richly as you comply. Amen. Amen.
morning, church. It's time for Bible reading. Please, I would like you to open your Bible to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3. Our Bible reading will be from 2 Peter, chapter 3. Verses 1 to the end. Second Peter 3, verses 1 to the end. We read it together. I read verse 1. We read the next verse. We will turn it like that to the end. Shall we go? This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Knowing this first, that they shall come on the last day's covers, walking after their own loss. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and in the water, But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us world, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Seeing then that all those things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new ever. And a new earth when dwelleth righteousness. And accounts that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, and according, according to the wisdom given unto him, had written unto you. Ye therefore, beloved, say ye know those things before. Beware lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. Everyone together. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. May the Lord bless his reading. Let us pray. O oh Lord, my Father, be grace to serve you steadfastly. 
grant unto me. O lo afi fun mi. In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesu Christ. O Lord my Father. O lo wa Lord Baba mi. The grace to serve you steadfastly. O re o fe lati ma sin o ni duro sisin. Grant unto me. O lo afi fun mi. In the name of Jesus. Ni oruko Jesu Christ.
Louder, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Louder, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Sing this song loud and clear. Make sure your voice is the loudest here. Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by thy Lord. Out of sin and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. Are you lifted up? Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by the Lord. Out of sins and sorrows into the presence of the Lord. Are you lifted up? Lifted, I am lifted, I am lifted by the Lord. Out of sins and sorrows into the presence of the Lord. Are you lifted up? Lifted, lifted. I am lifted by the Lord. Hallelujah. Out of sins and sorrows into the presence no. of the Lord. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of our praises today. You are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, 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 Hallelujah. Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Oh, yes, you are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, 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 Hallelujah. Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy of my praises today. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every Broken the case of Rasta, and cause a mass of iron in Sunda. He has broken the case of Rasta, and cause a mass of iron. He has broken the case of Rasta, and cause a mass of iron in Sunda. He has broken the case of Rasta, and cause a mass of iron. He has broken, he has broken, he has broken. He has broken the case of Rasta. Jesus, why are you man? People, I think it's a little bit of 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 a I'm a 
cabeça. Que bom ralo! Que bom ralo! Que bom ralo! Que bom ralo! Bom dia, alô! Bom dia, alô! Tá bom na salo! Alô! Na fire! Holy Ghost deliver me by fire! Holy Ghost deliver me by fire! Holy Ghost deliver me by fire! Holy Ghost deliver me! Can you shout this loud and clear before you sit down? Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Say, powers of the night. Attacking my breakthrough in the day. Can you shout this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. The powers of the night attacking my breakthrough in the day. Deal with that power now. Jesus name we pray now with a violent voice say, garment of shame catch fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and attack it Jesus, my potter, the katanda raba, the ribo sopende ke ya bo shente raba. In Jesus' name we pray. Any evil river, oh do it be you, mocking my efforts. Don't peg on la kakami. Can I hear the sister saying this? Is that the best the sisters can do? Let me hear the brothers shouting it loud and clear. Everybody together now. Drop in the name of Jesus. Just if he's mocking your efforts, command you to dry up. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for another wonderful time before you. And we thank you because you are our rock, you are our shield. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, specially open our understanding. Let us experience the touch and power of Jehovah. Let us see, let us know, let us experience the 
power of the Holy Ghost. Lay your hands upon our souls. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. This morning, I'd like you to listen to me very carefully. We're looking at what I call analysis of voices. Analysis of voices. Sisters, what did I say? Brothers, what did I say? Analysis of voices. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. We read verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 10. Analysis of voices. First Corinthians fourteen ten. Corinthians kini ori keri la esaikewa. If you are there, say yes. Tia bati shi ewi pe beni. Diara. Oleje. It may be. Be. So many kinds of voices in the world. Oni ruru ngu nimbe li aye. And none of them is without signification. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world. And none of them is without signification. That is, all the voices have their own language. All the voices have their own meanings. All the voices have their own manifestations. Different kinds of voices in the world. But none of them is just ordinary like that. That's what the Bible is telling us. In Exodus now chapter 4, verse 8. Exodus chapter 4, verse 8. This throws some simple light into the mystery. This is the Lord speaking. God himself is speaking here. Not just one of the prophets. Exodus 4, 8. And it shall come to pass. If they will not believe thee. Neither hearken to the voice of the first sign that they will believe the voice of the later sign. Say, so give them the first sign. That sign we speak. They may not believe that one. So put the second sign in. That sign too has a voice. It will speak. Your sorrow. Then you say they will believe. So signs, signs. <laughs> they have voices. This is the mystery of what the Bible refers when it says there are so many kinds of voices in the world, but none without signification. Voices are powerful entities. Powerful entities. It is only in human science and in biology we divide things into living things and non-living things. As far as the Bible is concerned, both living things, non-living things, they sometimes have 
voices. There are different kinds of voices in our world. Every voice has its own power. Every voice has its own meaning. Every voice has its own expression. And this is a fact we should understand. One key for outstanding and awesome breakthrough and success is to recognize that there are many types of voices in this world and to know the right one to follow. You should also try to understand that there are voices trying to influence you. Therefore, listening and obeying the right voice is the master key to uncommon success. Listening to the wrong voice will ensure the making of tragic mistakes. And sometimes the mistakes will be so much there will be no room to correct them. There are multiple voices bombarding us day in, day out. I say babel of noises confronting us daily. daily. This is a serious matter. There is a pounding thunder of voices beating continuously onto our heart, beating continuously into our hair drums. To worsen the situation. The Bible makes us to understand that there are voices coming from downside. There are voices coming from beneath and there are voices coming from up. Judas, Judas had Satan's voice in the presence of Jesus and he perished. Peter had Satan's voice and he did not want to believe the voice of Jesus. Jesus had to rebook Peter. I pray for you here this morning. May you not hear the wrong voice. Every voice speaking evil to your hearing. I command them to be silenced by fire. Every misleading voice assigned to anyone here, let the voice be scattered in the name of Jesus. A now comes the question. Which voice do you hear? Which voice do you follow? Which voice do you obey? As you are sitting down there, which voice is louder in your ears? It's a serious question indeed. Unless we, the church of God, get together and pray some serious prayers, the uh, devil has practically finished the youths of this generation. Practically. Unless I say strong prayer to pray. Strong prayer to pray. Somebody goes from a good home, goes to the university, in the house where he came from, they pray morning, afternoon, night. Morning, afternoon, night. It's the voice of prayer that is common in that house. Now it's gone out. Then voices of his peers 
his oh, colleagues, bare, strange voices, wajeji, will not be coming. Awa mawa, will not be coming. Awa the trouble with the young people, do. most times they do not discern the correct voice. Yeah, and thereby they listen to the wrong voice and they perish. This is a serious matter. 17 youth coppers were posted to one company. And when they finish service, they asked them to apply those who want to work. All 17 applied. They wanted to remain there because it was an oil company. But in that company, the final interview is a medical checkup. They sent all 17 for HIV testing. Only four was clean. Thirteen of them were already HIV positive. Listen to strange voices. I pray once again. At any strange voice, any destructive voice, assigned to confuse anyone here, I command the voices to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A servant for the man. There are categories of voices. One, the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is the most important voice you need to hear. This voice speaks the mind of God. He speaks the mind of God. That voice of the Lord can come to you like a shepherd's voice. Follow me. Tell me. Say, I know my sheep. And my sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. The voice spoke to Peter. Oh, no, but Peter Russo. So follow me. Only tell me. And I will make you a fisher of men. That voice of God. It could come to you as a master's voice. Saying, son, occupy till I come. And he will give you what to occupy your life with. That voice of the Lord, which is the most important voice for you to hear, can come to you like the voice of a teacher. Say, learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart. That voice of the Lord could come to you like the physician voice. Say, I want to make you whole. Say, be thou made whole. That voice. That voice of the Lord could come to you like the voice of a friend. Say, open your door. Let me come in and sup with you. Could come as a friend. That voice of the Lord could come to you like the Savior's voice. Say, so come unto me. Whosoever will, you come. That voice of the Lord can also come to you like the voice of a bridegroom. Invite you out of the pollution of this world. I'm following the Lord 
all the days of your life. I pray again here today that you will not follow the wrong voice. In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen be loud and clear. One man thought he had trouble. He followed his friend to a prophet somewhere. I got there. And the prophet began to pray. The prophet was praying seriously. He had a copy of the Bible in his hand. But he noticed that during the prayer, this prophet never mentioned the name of Jesus. All he was just shouting. Creator. Creator. Just shouting creator. In creator's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Was then he started getting jittery. What kind of place is this? And he confronted him. Are you not a prophet? Say yes. Why are you not praying the name of Jesus? To so his shock, the man looked at him angrily. Don't mention that name here. Say, my friend. Let's go. Say, let's go. You, you can go. But you are already in trouble. One white goat. One black goat. One white cow. One black cow. If you don't bring that one, you are finished. There's no way. I won't bring anything. Say, so well. Your wife is pregnant now. And the pregnancy is twins. If you don't bring them, all three are gone. Hey, hey. How did you know? Voice. Oh. He listened to the voice of Satan through the voice of his friend. And now the feedback is what you are saying. May you not hear the wrong voice. In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud. So the first verse that you really should know and follow is the voice of God. He's speaking. He's always speaking. Speaking always. But it's another thing whether you are hearing. It's another thing entirely. He said, behold, I stand stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. He's talking. He's communicating. He's talking. He's communicating. But whether you are hearing, it's another problem. A serious problem indeed. Paul looked at some people Say it is because of you that they have written you know, that hearing they shall hear they will not understand seeing they will see they will not perceive because their ears have been blocked they can't hear from the Savior they are hearing a strange voice may every strange voice assigned against anyone here perish in the name of Jesus voice number two is the voice of the flesh the voice of the flesh. This is the voice of your carnal nature. Craving for satisfaction and pleasure. Craving for immediate satisfaction. You must disobey this voice if you must make heaven and have a breakthrough. This is a very serious matter. The voice of the flesh has destroyed so many people. The Bible says the flesh 
profited nothing. This is the spirit that quickens. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The voice of the flesh will not help you. That's why Paul said, I bring my body under and put it under subjection. The flesh is always speaking. If all of a sudden I'm standing here right now, I close my eyes on this pulpit and I begin to prophesy that does say the Lord, all of you who have come for this Sunday morning service, the Lord said, no food. No water. No drink. Till next Sunday. If you drink, if you eat, it's nice problem. You find plenty of pandemonium here. Some will say, well, and I didn't want to come here this morning. They have told us before. This people are always like this. How can you just subject people to seven days drive fast without warning them in advance? Someone will say, ah. Something was telling me to eat very well last night. Those voices. The voice of the flesh. The voice of the flesh. Why are you looking at me like that? The voice of the flesh. I think they are gossiping about me. The voice of the flesh. I must paint my face. The eyelids. The lips. To make myself attractive. The voice of the flesh. You must disobey this voice. If you must make heaven. Don't be like that woman. When there was famine. A friend told her. Kill your son. Let us eat your son. Well, as the younger continues. We will kill my own. Then we will eat my own. She listened to that evil voice. So they killed our own son and ate him. When it's time to kill that of his friend, said, no. No. Don't be like that kind of person. Voice number three is the voice of the mind. The voice of the mind. This is the voice of your thought processes. Your mind. If your mind is not transformed. Or regenerated. Listening to it is a disaster. Disaster. That's your mind. I follow my mind. I also follow my mind. Ah. That's the voice of your mind. If it's not filled with the Holy Spirit and regenerated, it's the voice of destruction. For the voice of the lust of the eyes. Lust of the eyes. Some people's eyes stray. To strange things. They have not made covenant with that eye not to be seen all kinds of strange things. Lost of the eyes. Five. There is a voice of what people think about you. That, that voice. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? That's the voice you are listening to. Six. That is the voice of laziness. Oh, You're not working hard. Oh, she said, Takun Takun. It's a voice. Oh, Muni. Seven. That is the voice of fear. Oh, Fear. 
Eru, which is a great destroyer. Fear, Eru, which is a great demon. Tormenting and confusing people. The voice of fear. Eight. The voice of anger. Anger. Any small thing. People say, well, lose your temper. Get angry. You lost your temper. I begin to talk. Now is the voice of deceit. The voice of deceit. The voice is calculated to deceive you. And sometimes you are even trying to deceive yourself. It's a voice. Ten. There is a voice of circumstances. Your circumstances are the ones you are listening to what is happening around you. You are not listening to the voice of the master. But the voice of the evil things, the circumstances that are surrounding you. Eleven. That is the voice of the curse of this world. Which has pushed many people down into the dream and that dream is where they've been struggling to get out I pray that this day the Lord God that dwelleth in Zion shall silence by fire every voice that wants to confuse your destiny in the name of Jesus let your amen be loud and clear there is a voice of evil desire for money Evil desire for money. The rate at which some people are looking for money is terrible. They forget. We brought nothing into this world. And it is certain that we are going to take nothing out of it. The thing is the voice of the world. The world we're living in is a world of confusion, iniquity, and sin. Following this kind of voice will lead to destruction and terrible pain. Make up your mind here this morning that you will choose to listen to the voice of the Savior. That you will command all evil voices to be silenced. And I'm praying for somebody here too that the voices that have confused you in the past and they are still wanting to confuse you now shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder rise up on your feet now rise up on your feet all eyes closed but you see, if you are here this morning and you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, say this short prayer after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Jesus is here and is willing to help you. We have prayers to pray here this morning. And the prayer is to help you to discern between dark and holy voices. The prayer is targeted to help you to defeat the voices of darkness and to obey the voice of the Lord. So right there where you are, you will raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. You will raise up your voices so that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Voices from the grave. 
Can you shout that loud? Voices from the covens. A sign against my life. Can you shout out loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Die! In the name of Jesus. Voices from the grave. Voices from the coven. I sign against my life. Death. Jesus, then we pray. Now, this is a very serious prayer. But I want you to pray. Everywhere you turn, there are altars. These altars have a voice. They are speaking. Sacrifices that people put on the crossroad. The altars. They're speaking. One sorrow. They have voices. One new. The other time. A serpent was killed. Inside the serpent were names of people and their pictures. Majority of the people whose names were in the belly of the serpent were dead. The serpent has a voice. A voice of death. Can you shout this loud and clear? Voices from dark altars. A sign against me. Can you shout it loud? Let your voice be loud. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening already. Oh, what is better? See, Shelly. Open your mouth, open your mouth, and declare it. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, bring out your price and your offering for this meeting. God bless you as you do so. Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Lay your hands upon their lives, O Lord. 
and catapult your children to the next level of financial breakthrough in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Boxes are close to you there. Put your offering and tithes in the boxes. Or use our data on the screen.
watchman upon the city wall. And if I am a Christian, I am the least of those. Oh, would you go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere? Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is our Let us rise up, please. For closing prayers. I want you to, to, to open your mouth and cry to God as you go into this new week. With everything you have within you, you are going to pray like this. Say, any power! Announcing my name for destruction. Any power. Announcing my name for destruction. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. 
Rika posika tapa. Rebrata lika halia dasata. Ma kwakata lida santa kapalia. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray add more fire to it add more fire to it so every strategy of the wicked to bring me down scatter in the name of Jesus strategy of the wicked to bring you down to bring your business down strategy of the wicked to bring your progress down scatter 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 in the name of Jesus ribra kapasita balia naka kwatali broteli dasakapa Zebra Masata, Libra Mosakapa, Litulia, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be tired. Add this one to it. So every mouth mentioning my name for evil. You are not my God. Die! Command them to die. Command them to die. Command them to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ribra kapasata. Leka kwata pa brata limo sinta kapa. In Jesus. Name we pray. So every war against my staff of bread. Scatter. Scatter in the name of Jesus. War against your staff of bread. Command them to scatter. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus name we pray as you go this week I decree upon your life the Lord Jesus Christ will manifest his greatness in your life in the name of Jesus I pray for you every good door that has been closed against you as you go into this week those good doors they shall open unto you 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 in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance upon you in the name of Jesus. He shall be well with you. Whether you are in the house, whether you are on the road, whether you are in marketplaces, he shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. All these prayer points will cover in the blood of Jesus. Father, answer them by fire in the name of Jesus. All of you are I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Three amen to that. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Seven wonderful, hallelujah, let's go. Ah, 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 ah. God bless you.
Odomiri Bensaida Mo Odomiri Bensaida Olorie Piarilomo Iname Uso Ebuzona Pigi Odigie Inapu Jesus. Obuchina warrior. Oloria lore. O warrior boy he put a warrior. Hey. Ana ma boya o mezi mado. Jim Gado. O nota marechi. Malite no gugu. Onyuku no baga. Keri he bomba hunke putero gine ba tata. Keri ya hunke na pugi kosara mado. Hunke ne megi ira hora bani obrusa apa. Ana me megi marata. Na chia hunke na dindu rombo ebi ebi. Okay, so take it. He won't take a walk again. He got Bugonia Gosera, Gosi one name. Oloria, Piari Lomo. Oloria, Piari Lomo. Oloria, Piari Lomo. Ya 
Father, I am away from you. Yes, the close I am to my grave. The less I hear from you. Yes, the close I am to my doom. Cause a life without you is like a tree without the branch. The moment I'm cut away from you, I am dead. Cause I ain't a Christian. And nothing without the help of my Creator. Now God be the root of all. Jesus be the stem, the branch, and me be the leaf. Oh, cause I need a Christian. I'm nothing without you. Bogum to ba fella wa uluwa uluwa. Whether in a house car, I've been a piece. Now my papa get a move. She found no such a treasure for us. Get a cock on the moon. Hey, push a jack. Cause I ain't a Christian. Yeah. I'm nothing without the help of my creator. Now God be the root of Jesus be the stem, the branch. Hey, let me be the leaf. Cause I ain't a Christian. I'm nothing without you. Hey, cause I ain't a Christian. Yeah. I'm nothing without the help of my Creator. Hey. Now God be the root of oh, Jesus be the stem, the branch. Now me believe, yeah. Oh. Cause I ain't a Christian. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Hey. Cause I ain't a Christian. I'm nothing without the help of my Creator. Na, na, na. Now God be the root of oh, Jesus be the stem, the branch. Now me believe. Oh, Cause I ain't a Christian. Nothing without you. Papa John, Doctor Lotiro, Ekwayo. I want this away. No life for you, no life for you. Who oh, don't tell you, say, your own love it do. Take it to Christ, they take it to Christ, they own. Cause I ain't it a Christian. I'm nothing without the help of my Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got pity, Ruto. Jesus, pity, stamp the branch. I may believe oh, Cause I ain't a Christian I'm nothing without you Amen
talent pour de passer où est-ce que tu me voyais j'ai pogné la douze et j'ai eu pas ma ouïe là pogné la ou calme pour de douze et toi oui oui Sa wento me weye je ipo ye na nozi kiche tu pa maulona ye na o kale kodo se Jesu Sa wento me weye je ipo ye na nozi kiche tu pa maulona tu ko ye na o kale kodo se Jesu Sa wento me weye je ipo ye na nozi kiche tu pa maulona ye na o kale kodo se to wiwe Sa wento me weye je ipo ye na nozi kiche tu pa maulona ye na o kale kodo se to wiwe sa wento me weye je ipo na nozi Jesus, <laughs> So we are, we are so. Do not come and meet the Jesus. Oh, Jesus, who made me bad? Oh, do not come and meet the Jesus. Oh, Jesus, who made me bad? Oh, do not come and meet the Jesus. Oh, do not come and meet the Jesus. Oh, Jesus, who made me bad? Oh, do not come and meet the Jesus. Sakoto, Sakoto, go to bed, Sakoto.
Look at how many quarters. So we are, we are so.